it's a, a gamification of your projection of a very beautiful eight dimensional root system with elementary particles attached down to two dimensions so we can see it on the screen. So this tells you that all the different elementary particles which correspond to different roots in the E8 root system, which correspond to different circles inside the E8 Lie group. You can label each one. You know, the force particles uh, over here is, is circles of different colors corresponding to different forces. And then the matter of particles according to these different glyphs for different fermion states um, with different colors with different types of fermion. And if you plot them all out and project them according to their charges, it makes this glorious E8 root system, which then you can rotate around in eight dimensions and project down to two dimensions on your screen. Uh, this is one uh, especially, especially nice projection uh, called the uh, projection into the Coxeter plane, uh, which really shows the symmetry of this root system. And inside the E8 root system, you can see the root systems of the other forces corresponding to interactions in physics. So uh, remember the gluons were uh, these particles in a hexagon, which you can see lurking here inside the E8 root system. And we can sort of rotate this until that, the, that SU3 uh, root system is shown. Let me show you how to do this. So go to physics coordinates, which will show the forces here uh, according to their, their physics labels. And then you can rotate out the horizontal and vertical axes along those directions and see how that works. Just by clicking on the screen and dragging, that'll rotate the root system in eight dimensions, changing your projection until you can see all the different uh, uh, quarks in their pattern. And the G3 and G8 axes of SU3 now spread out um, almost but not quite maximally. So you can sort of see the spread of particles. And now if you want to do an interaction, you can go over here to interaction and say you want to interact a, uh, a green up quark here with this glue on. You can, you can click on that up quark and see the up quark down there and then click on a glue on. And now you can see this glue on, this glue on here interacting with that green quark to produce a red quark. And that shows you the, uh, the interaction, how this this up quark with these charges, including their strong charges over here, as well as their electroweak charges and their spin charges, um, interact with the charges of the gluon to give you the uh, a, a different quark. So for this gluon, uh, this only has a G3 charge for its color charge. So the only charge you see change in this interaction is this goes from a minus one half plus that to a plus one half. And that gives you, and that corresponds to a quark of a different color. It's still an up quark because its electromagnetic cha charges haven't changed. Its electroweak charges haven't changed. Only its strong charge has changed, corresponding to its color. Um, similarly, you can you can go back and look at uh, all sorts of different charge axes for this thing. We can go back to uh, this thing. And we can we can look at uh, the we can focus in on the strong force, all right? To see all the, all the all the fermions and quarks here of different states, interact can it, how it can interact with the gluons. Uh, we can look at the whole standard model. We can get rid of the rest of the E8 ones and just focus in on the known standard model particles with one generation of fermions. And this is how the you can see how the weak bosons can interact. So you can see a, a down particle interacting with a, a W minus to give an up quark. Okay, so that's a typical weak interaction. Um, and this is the, the charge structure of the standard model. And uh, as you can see, uh, this is all, all of the structure of the standard model, including the weak force and the, uh, and the electromagnetic force and the strong force and gravity are all lurking inside this, uh, this E8 Lie group, which is, which is quite nice. Um, so that's a, that's a quick one minute demo. Um, there's lots of stuff to play around in here. You can choose uh, different coordinates that are natural to, uh, to different things you might want to do in terms of different grand unified theories. So for example, um, you can go back to the standard model and you can include, say, uh, some 
grand unified theory particles. So if you include the SU5 grand unified theory, you have these other X and Y bosons show up, which are new, new forces uh, corresponding to that grand unified theory. And those new particles in that grand unified theory can lead to new interactions that you can't get normally, such as, such as proton decay. And you can also rotate this thing around. So if you wanted to see if you're more interested in the strong interaction than the weak interaction, you just rotate that out. And you're, you're rotating around the charge diagram, just changing the projection into two dimensions, changing what you're, you're focusing on. Because this, this is a, a, a high dimensional root system. And when you're doing these rotations, you're rotating out a different pair of axes to see whatever, uh, whatever plane of interaction you're interested in. Uh, you gotta play. You can probably play with this for weeks if you want to. There's a lot going on in here. <laughs>